the top 5 vitamins to boost energy and reduce fatigue. Over 90% of the energy your body uses is produced by tiny power plants called mitochondria found in your cells. No matter how much sleep or food you eat, you will feel exhausted, fatigued, and worn out if these energy factories don't get the nutrients and oxygen they require. Instead of depending on unhealthy energy drinks or caffeine boosts, there are fortunately natural ways to increase the energy output from your cells to make you feel much more alert, less tired, and more energized. In this video, we'll look at some vitamins and dietary supplements that you can take to boost your energy and get rid of constant fatigue. Just to refresh your memory, this video is solely meant for educational purposes. If you have any medical concerns, please consult your doctor. Vitamin B1, energy production Vitamin B1 is among the most vital vitamins for energy production. Vitamin B1 is used by your cells to assist in the mitochondrial energy conversion of your food. Regretfully, refined foods such as sugar, wheat, flour, alcohol, tea, and coffee deplete your B1 stores, leaving you feeling exhausted most of the time. The moment. Thus, begin eliminating refined foods and take a daily supplement containing 50 mg of alethiamine, which is derived naturally from allium vegetables such as garlic and onions and is also known as vitamin B1. And you'll soon start to experience an increase in mental clarity and energy. As an alternative, you can get it from whole food sources like nutritional yeast, organic pork, sunflower seeds, mussels, and asparagus. B12, iron, and folate, red blood cells I'd like to now combine three nutrients that are critical for your blood. Your red blood cells transport oxygen from your lungs to your cells so that your body can produce energy. To create these robust red blood cells, you require an abundance of iron, folate, and vitamin B12. Without them, you run the risk of becoming anemic, which manifests as pale skin, dyspnea, and persistent fatigue. You should consume premium grass-fed red meats such as liver, beef, wild fish, and shellfish if you want to get your heme iron and B12. Dark leafy greens such as kale, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, etc. are a good source of folate. Methylfolate, 1000 micrograms The best source of folate is food, but if you must take a supplement, make sure the folate you choose is methylfolate rather than folic acid. Methylcobalamin, 1000 micrograms vitamin B12 methylcobalamin. Fish slash meat, heme iron real meat or fish is a good source of iron. Coenzyme Q10, production of energy Every single cell in the human body produces Coke 10, a naturally occurring antioxidant that aids in protecting cell membranes and producing ATP, energy. Our levels of Coke 10 decrease with age, particularly after 40. Coke 10 levels can also be lowered by some heart condition drugs, such as beta blockers, statins, and antidepressants, which can make you feel extremely exhausted and worn out. If you would like, you can take a 100 to 200 mg daily supplement of Coke 10 in its natural form, ubiquinol. As an alternative, you can obtain this by consuming organ meats like the liver, kidney, and heart of beef. This is especially beneficial for elderly individuals and those with metabolic syndrome or cardiovascular disease. To receive updates on my newest health and nutrition advice, please subscribe, like, and turn on all notifications if you find this information useful. Magnesium, ATP and nerves vegetables contain magnesium, an electrolyte mineral that is lacking in billions of people worldwide. If this describes you, you might experience fatigue, frequent stress, and tense muscles, particularly in the shoulders. Because magnesium is necessary to maintain healthy brain cells, muscles, nerves, and the production of ATP, you might also find that you have trouble thinking clearly. You can take a daily supplement called magnesium glycinate, 200 mg, to obtain additional magnesium. Twice daily. This helps to balance blood sugar and lower stress in addition to increasing energy. Even better, just increase your intake of dark green veggies, avocados, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, Brazil nuts, and avocados to get your magnesium fix. Ashwagandha, increased stress resistance People who carry a lot of physical and mental stress in their bodies for a long time are also frequently exhausted. 
stress causes the hormone cortisol to be released, which can cause an imbalance in your blood sugar, which will leave you feeling drained and lethargic. A potent ancient adaptogen herb, ashwagandha helps the body and brain adjust to stress in order to balance these hormones and give you back your energy. Take 500 mg of ashwagandha extract, at least 5-10% to with analytes, daily. Additionally, you ought to learn stress reduction techniques like going on lengthy walks, working out, or sipping herbal teas like passionflower, peppermint, or lemon balm, vitamin D, improving sleep and stress you may be experiencing fatigue and tiredness due to vitamin D deficiency if you have trouble falling asleep, wake up early in the morning, or feel sleepy during the day. Before going to bed, taking 10,000 IU, 250 micrograms, of vitamin D3 can aid in increasing melatonin, the hormone that regulates your circadian rhythm. We previously talked about the stress hormone cortisol, and vitamin D also aids in lowering it. As you can see, boosting your energy levels can be achieved by concentrating on certain highly effective vitamins and nutritional supplements. For one to two weeks, I would advise starting with vitamin B1. If that doesn't work for you, go down the list and observe how your body responds. I'll give you some easy lifestyle advice later on that you can apply to get more energy and quit feeling exhausted. Let's first examine the underlying causes of fatigue and tiredness, though. Typical reasons for fatigue, insufficient sleep, less than 8 hours first of all, your cells absorb less glucose if you don't get at least 8 hours of uninterrupted sleep each night, which leaves you feeling exhausted all day. Phytic acid, found in refined grains Phytic acid depletes your B vitamins by binding to minerals and preventing your cells from forming energy-producing molecules. Anemia, low oxygen If your body isn't getting enough oxygen into your cells and you don't have enough red blood cells, you may feel exhausted. Low thyroid, hypothyroidism I've talked about low thyroid hormones in a video on my channel. Caffeine, excessive consumption of tea, coffee, or soda can overstimulate your nervous system and lead to fatigue later on. Postviral syndrome, alternatively, an old virus or infection may be causing long-term effects in you. Let's now examine six concrete steps you can take to increase your energy and reduce your tiredness. How to increase your energy? Reduce your intake of alcohol, sugars, and refined carbs as these foods are depleting your electrolytes and B vitamins. Make an effort to consume a diet rich in nutrient-dense foods that support the health of your mitochondria, such as avocados, walnuts, wild salmon, grass-fed beef, eggs raised on pasture, spinach, blueberries, and broccoli. After getting a cold or viral infection, if you still feel exhausted, take zinc glycinate, vitamin D3, and NAC together to support your immune system's removal of these pathogens from your cells. Take 3 tablespoons or more of nutritional yeast every day to raise your B vitamin levels. This will lessen tension and exhaustion, soothe the nervous system, and enhance sleep patterns. You should only have 1 or 2 cups of organic coffee in the morning and none more after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You'll sleep better because the caffeine will have left your system by the time you go to bed. Drink a glass of water with a straw and 1 tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in the morning. This beverage contains acetic acid, which naturally fuels your cells and increases your energy levels by converting into ketones. If you'd like, you can additionally incorporate electrolyte minerals such as magnesium and potassium citrates into this beverage. I went into great detail about vitamin B1 and its significance for the synthesis of energy in a previous video, which also included two excellent recipes for at home remedies. Vitamin number one to quit feeling exhausted. I sincerely appreciate you watching my video today, and as always, I send you my best wishes for prosperity, health, and happiness.